Hey guys, I'm a Burke and I do things. And in today's video, I have my BoxyCharm versus Ipsy Glam Bag unboxing for April 2019. These are two beauty subscriptions that I subscribe to. And before I go into all the details, keep on watching. Okay, so we are going to start with BoxyCharm. This is a $21 a month subscription. I do receive a box and PR that I've already opened up. You can check that video up here where I went through and swatched a lot of these products and I have tested out the products that came in that box. That video will be posted on Friday this week. But if you wanna see what came in my paid for subscription, then I'll open it right now. Okay, so this month's theme is Peace, Love, and Boxy. It's a very Coachella themed box. And I will say, just looking at this right away, it is a different variation than my PR box. This is the first time my paid for subscription has been a different variation than my PR, I think. So the first product I have here is a set of Luxie brushes, and this is the Summer Days collection. This retails for $28. I'm not going to open any of these products that I already have because they will be going in a future giveaway. We're almost at my 3,000 subscriber giveaway for this channel. I will show you mine that I have open. So it comes with a 5112 small contour brush, a 209 large shader brush, and a 245 small shader brush. Luxie is a great brand, so I'm very happy to have those, and they work well. The next product is from Starlux, and this is their Celestial Longwear Eye Pencil. This retails for $19, which is way overpriced. I will show you what mine looks like. So it is a green eyeliner but it does not have any color payoff at all when you use it. And it's just not a great brand in general. And I wish BoxyCharm would stop including this brand in their boxes. The next product is from Artist Couture and this is the Summer Haze Loose Highlighter. This retails for $27. And I will show you my open version here. It is a very champagne-y glittery highlighter. It definitely goes with the Coachella theme. It's not something that I personally love, but I can see a lot of people enjoying getting this in the box because Artist Couture is a brand that they sell at Sephora, so it is kind of a luxury product. Next, we have the Pure Festival palette. This retails for $36. This is like the big guy this month. So here is mine. I have only tried out the palette once, which you can check out in my video that's coming up, but I really think that this is a very, very attractive palette. And it very much speaks to me because it does have a lot of neutrals, but it also has some pops of color. So I find that it's something that will appeal to many people, unlike an all neutral palette or an all colorful palette. Okay, and now I'll show you what came in my variation for this month. This is from Christopher Buckle, and it says Cashmere Slip Longwear Lipstick. I've never heard of this brand. This retails for $18. It is a creamy, richly pigmented lipstick. What is the shade name? The shade is called Bardo, which makes me think it is going to be a dark, dark color. All right, what an interesting looking component. Uh, actually, that doesn't look too bad. Let's do a swatch of that. Oh, this is a really nice color. What in the heck? Oh, I'm very happy with this. I've never heard of this brand before. This is awesome. Okay, I'm really excited for this. I will show you in my PR subscription, I did not get this product. Instead, I got this Butter London mascara, which I actually really do like so far. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Roller Lash from Benefit because it has a spiky curved wand, so not bad. Okay, so now I will total up the value of my box. Okay, so this box retails for $28. In comparison, my PR box was a $130 value, so they're pretty close in price, and I'm pretty happy with this month's box. Like I said, I have tried everything minus the lipstick, and that should be in Friday's video, so you can stay tuned and see how everything worked out. Now on to Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. Now, Ipsy, on the other hand, is a $25 a month subscription, and it typically, it's a very, very good value, and lately it's been pretty good compared to BoxyCharm, like sometimes pretty much a lot better. I don't think that's English. That being said, mine came covered with these received damage 
stamps all over it and it was taped back together. So I have no idea what I am in store for right now because the post office literally had to tape this back together. So I don't know if products are missing. Let's see, okay, there is a card in here. So that'll help me know if anything's missing. I also am pretty sure I redeemed some Ipsy points. So nothing looks broken yet, but you never know. Okay, so we do have what they call the Lara Sanchez Moods Eyeshadow and Highlighter Palette. I've never heard of the brand Lara Sanchez before, but that is a really cool looking palette. It says this retails for $35. Okay, that's the front. Oh, wait. If I open it, does that... What? Oh, God. There was a brush. It fell out. Okay. I got it. Okay. Wow. This is pretty neat. Okay. So this palette comes with like a fluffy brush and an angled brush. And then inside, it looks like we have eight eyeshadows and two highlighters. And it looks like the top row is all matte, the second row is all shimmer, and then we got two highlighters. That's really pretty. Uh, this is really cool. This, this is, I don't know, I have never heard of this brand before. I mean, I'm definitely excited to try this out. Similar to Friday's video where I tested out all the BoxyCharm products, I will be doing the same with Ipsy. But so far, this is really cool. I've never heard of this brand, and it looks like it's gonna be a really good eyeshadow palette. Okay, next we have a blush palette. So this is from the brand Lovecraft Beauty, and it is their blush palette. And this retails for $39. All right, so we open it. Ooh, these are three really, really pretty blushes. I've never heard of this brand either. Okay, Ipsy is killing it right now. Holy crap. The next product is from Paris Hilton Skincare. This is the Pro DNA Advanced Skincare System Dual Action Cleansing Gel. This retails for $29. It says you might not be an heiress, but that doesn't mean you can't have rich girl skin. Isn't that interesting? Okay, and this is four fluid ounce, and did I say this retails for $29? How interesting. I don't know anything about Paris Hilton skincare line, so I guess I will try it out and see how it goes. Okay, our next product is from Gold Faden MD. Problem Tired Eyes Solution. Bright Eyes Dark Circle Radiance Concentrate. And this retails for $55. They always put the best skincare in these Ipsy bags, I swear. And this is half a fluid ounce and it's $55. This must be, it says Dr. Gold Faden's Advanced Ultra Light Brightening Eye Cream Reduces Under Eye Darkness, Puffiness, and Fine Lines for a more luminous and youthful glow. Oh my goodness, that is crazy. And then we have a benefit product. This is the Highbrow Pencil. This retails for $22. So this is one of those highlighters that you kind of put underneath your brow which I can definitely try it out like that, but I have one of these from Wet n Wild that I got the idea from Emily Noel that you can use in your waterline to brighten up your inner, you know, make your eyes look bigger and all that. But I mean, I'll definitely try this out. Benefit obviously has great brow products. This is one of the few that I haven't tried. And before I total everything up, I did redeem three items with points. So the first thing we have here is from Elemis, and this is the Superfood Night Cream. I've used one of their creams before and it was fantastic, so I'm definitely excited to try this one out. From Billion Dollar Brows, I have the Mini Universal Brow Pencil. And then I also got the Skin Iceland Limited Edition Berry Lip Fix. I assume that means lip balm. Nice. So let me total up the value of Ipsy this month because it was pretty crazy. Wow, $180. I mean, <laughs> I don't even think I need to say it, but I'll say it. Ipsy wins this month 100%. Wow. I mean, it was like $50 more in value. That is so crazy. Ah, wow. All right, your turn. Let me know what came into your boxes this month. What are you the most excited for? I will have a video testing out the Ipsy stuff coming soon. And don't forget BoxyCharms trying on should be coming tomorrow. Did I miss anything? I do not know. 
And yeah, that is it for this video. As usual, thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, click the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. I have my Twitter and my Instagram down below. Give them a follow and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.